that cheese would come up the shelf? Well, actually, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, is the one that chose me to be the fourth bishop of the Diocese of the Luxe. Uh, but before that, I was a priest and felt very called to serve the church as a priest. And I was a priest of the Diocese of Corpus Christi, Texas. So I served there for 39 years as a priest. And then got a phone call from the Holy Father's representative, which invited me to become your bishop. And so obviously I said yes. And that was five years ago. Hard to believe. It's a great question. Thank you. All right. What are some of your responsibilities as a bishop? So some of the responsibilities are to help you to grow in faith. And so I visit all the schools. So guess what school is my favorite school today? St. Alphonsus. St. Alphonsus is my favorite school today. Also, I'm in charge of uh, all the parishes and all the missions and all the schools and all the ministries in the whole diocese. So we have 54 or 56,000 people that are part of our church throughout the entire south of Mississippi. So everything is under me. That's why I have that shepherd staff during Mass, because I'm the chief shepherd. So your principal works for me, and the whole faculty, and even Dr. Clark works for me, and even Brother well, Mike's work for me. <coughs> Great question. Yes, ma'am. What advice would you give to the new bishop? Well, what advice I give to the new bishop? Uh, pray. 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 And love your people. And love your priests. Thank you. What age were you when you started learning about God? So, I didn't quite get that completely. So, what was it that helped me learn about God? Is that what the idea is? What age? What age was I? I was your age. I was your age. So I went to a Catholic school too and learned about God. And I used to serve Mass just like you did. And then eventually I heard Jesus saying to me, Think about being a priest. And so eventually I said yes to being a priest. Good girl. Yeah. What would you do to help grow Catholicism? So what would I do to help? Grow Catholicism. Catholic, okay, Catholicity. Yeah, uh, Catholicism. Uh, so, what we're doing now is to try to encourage all of our people to become disciples of Jesus. And so, we want each of you to grow up to be disciples of Jesus. And as we talked about in your classes, to come to know Jesus to love Jesus and to experience his love, to serve Jesus with your life, and to witness to him with your life. So, well done. Thank you. Yes, sir. What is your favorite parable and why? What's my favorite parable and why? Um, hmm. I would say the, the parable of the fish and the loaves is probably one of my favorites, and that's the one that Dr. Clark shared with you today uh, because it reminds me of the Eucharist, the body and blood of Jesus, and we got mass together like we did this morning. So, great question. Yes, ma'am. Who or what started your faith? Who or what started my faith? Actually, my family, my parents uh, were the beginning of it, and then the priest of the parish, and the sisters of the parish, uh, and then my my family, uh, aunts and uncles and stuff, were also very close to the church and to God. So that's where it really began years ago when I was your age. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, what are some of the things you do in your free time? So some of the things I do in my free time, I love to fish. I don't get to do it as much as I'd like to, but I love to fish. I love to read. Uh, and, uh, and then I do... I do I, exercise pretty regularly uh, so um, 
my brother can vouch for that. So, yeah. Great. What are some of the things that have brought you closer to God as a bishop? So some of the things is actually visiting with you. So to be able to share the love of Jesus Christ with you. Uh, and then, you know, the, the Word of God. So the, those moments of, of Lexio Divina are very special. And then those moments of imagination prayer with the Word of God are also special. <clears throat> but also being able to celebrate, <coughs> excuse me, the Mass and being able to <coughs> hold the body and blood of Jesus in my hands and give the body and blood of Jesus to you is one of those special, special moments. So thank you. Yes, ma'am. What is your favorite prayer? What's my favorite prayer? Well, I love Lexio Divina and I love imagination prayer and intercessory prayer and Visio Divina. But my favorite and favorite prayer besides the Mass is to be with God and just simply sit in God's presence and let God simply sit in my presence with me and we simply love each other in those moments of silence, in those moments of being in the presence of each other. So thank you. Yes, ma'am. Um, what do you, as a bishop, what do you do? So as a bishop, what do I do? So one of the things I do is visit you. I get to visit you. The other is to actually shepherd the church and lead the church. So I help to provide the priests and the religious and all of our lay people who are leaders throughout the entire church and to help them to love you and to help you come to love Jesus and to love this church. So I run the church, shepherd the whole thing. So thank you. Yes, sir. What is your favorite saint and why? What's my favorite saint? My favorite saint, of course, is a number. Uh, so Saint Louis, which is my name's sake. He was the king of France and had a, a family that he took care of and the poor he took care of. And of course, uh, a lot of the saints that we honor. And so St. Peter and St. Paul, both from the very beginning of the church. But also uh, St. Mary Magdalene for her willingness to serve the Lord even in the moments of her uh, sinfulness. And yet she still served God. And of course we talked about today uh, St. Teresa of Calcutta, who's a modern saint, very special. Uh, and then of course St. Alphonsus, very special, and his ministry with the youth. Uh, and so that's a good idea. So that gives you an idea. Yes, ma'am. Um, how do you feel about teaching and inspiring others about the love of Jesus? Oh, uh, it's fun. Love, I love doing teaching, and I love uh, hopefully giving a good example. Uh, and I love bringing people to Jesus. That's really a special moment. And then when they can meet him and really fall in love with him and know his love in a special way, that just warms my heart big time, big time. So that's my hope for y'all too, though, that you will become people that bring people to Jesus. That's a disciple. And as you do that, your heart will be warmed too, big time. Yes, sir. Uh, what's your favorite prayer in life? So I, I, I like a lot of different prayers. So the Our Father is one of the prayers I like, the Hail Mary, because both of them are quoting the Bible, uh, which is really special to us. Uh, and then, you know, uh, as I've mentioned, the Mass is a really special prayer for me to be able to ask Jesus to be present in his body and his blood. So that's a special one. Yes, ma'am. What has been your biggest mishap in Mass as a bishop? What's been my biggest mishap as a bishop? Hmm. Good question. Um, yeah. Uh, I would say one of the biggest challenges I have is is to help people to get along with each other and to love one another and to help one another to get to heaven. That's one of the biggest challenges I have. 
because there's moments when people don't agree or people get frustrated with one another, stuff happens. So to help them love one another. So very good. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. What is your favorite mask for the whole year? Favorite mass for the whole year uh, is really every mass I celebrate. But there are special occasions. So the moment of uh, when we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus at Easter, when we celebrate the birth of Jesus at Christmas, those are two super special moments. But every time I celebrate the mass. Yes, ma'am. At our school, we are doing a donation. Is there any specific places you would like us to donate to? So y'all are doing special donations. Uh, uh, what are some of the places you are donating to right now? Um, we normally donate to, um, I forgot what it's called, but, but, it's, um, but it's a place for the elderly. Okay, that's special. Um, you know, I think also for those folks that are uh, homeless, that's a, a biggie. Uh, and then to also for those uh, children that are not as fortunate as we are, that need to have a special place for them too. So those are good. But why? But why do you want us to donate to those places? So when we, when we donate to people that are less fortunate than us, that are poor, we're helping them uh, to be able to eventually come to love Jesus and to care, to know that Jesus cares for them. So that's a moment in which we are loving our neighbor as ourselves. Does that help? Good girl. Yes, sir. What is your favorite part of your job of mine? So I love coming to see you, and I love celebrating the Mass, and I love uh, having the chance to teach, and to preach, and to bring the sacraments to you, and to have those moments, and to read the Word of God with you, and to share the Word of God. So those are special, special moments. So, okay. So let me give you a blessing, and then we're going to take a picture. All right. Well done, team. So the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yay, great.